Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is exosomes. Exosomes are nanoscale extracellular lipid bilayer vesicle that are secreted by various cells under physiological and pathological conditions. Basically, exosomes are membrane vesicle with a diameter of 30 to 150 nanometer. They are interaluminal vesicle formed by the inward budding of endosomal membranes during the mutation of multivesicular endosomes. Characterization of exosomes Exosomes are derived from the cell culture supernatural or plasma with their identification based on the physical and morphological characteristics. The composition of an exosome vesicle includes proteins, RNA, DNA and other substances. Through the intracellular transfer of their cargo molecules, exosomes participate in fundamental physiological processes or pathological disorders by regulating the pro uh, properties of their target cells. They are widely distributed throughout the body fluids including uh, blood, saliva, breast milk and urine. Next is uh, how does uh, exosome use in uh, diagnostics? So uh, exosomes are ideal non-invasive biomarker uh, for disease diagnosis. Uh, they exist, exist extensively in various uh, body fluids. So their molecule contents are specific to their parent cell types. And their level of combo, uh, component depend primarily on the functional state of these cells. That is, whether the cells are in normal physiological state or a pathological state, such as oxidative stress, transformation, apoptosis, and abnormal division. Therefore, an analysis of exosomal cargo circulating in body fluid reflect the alternative states of parent cells uh, and which provide insight into the diagnosis of uh, systemic and oral diseases. Uh, next is uh, therapeutic application of exosomes. So uh, we know that exosomes have many advantage in both cell-based drug delivery and nanotechnology due to their small size. Uh, exosomes uh, are able to cross uh, the barrier that cells cannot uh, able to cross. So because of their characteristics of uh, endogenous system, and this exosome show uh, low immunogenicity uh, that is uh, compared to other non-viral uh, delivery system, exosome based delivery system processes high loading efficiency and sustained drug release. So, uh, because of these uh, features, these exosomes are uh, used in different disease management, uh, which include cancer, infectious diseases, and other uh, diseases like heart diseases and the brain diseases. So, here I'm uh, discussing more about uh, how the exosome used in these uh, kind of uh, diseases. The first one is exosome application in cancer. Uh, so with their uh, capacity of transferring the bioactive molecules between cancer and various cells, exosomes have been reported to participate in cancer progression and metastasis. So, uh, this exosome derived from a uh, specific site can be promising candidate for anti-cancer vaccines since they can present antigen against that specific type of cancer. So, the exosome-based drug delivery system is critical in treatment of the metastasis, uh, metastatic cancer uh, because this exosome can... Um, and be become a part of like a circulating uh, tumor cells. Next is exosome application in infectious diseases. Uh, the exosome have been reported to function a role in the pathological process of infectious diseases. 
So this exosome derived from the pathogen influence the host immune system while exosome derived from the host cell may defend, defend against infections. So it has been reported to uh, block the exosome secretion from infectious pathogen of viruses may be the potential strategy to find virus uh, in viral infections or inflammatory reaction in infection control. Another is exosome application in central nervous system disorder. So uh, we know that the blood brain barrier is a highly selective semi permeable uh, membrane that separates the circulating blood from the brain and extracellular fluid in the central nervous system. So many compounds cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, which uh, that is, which restrict their therapeutic potential. So the exosome-based delivery system can carry effective drug across the blood-brain barrier and transport it into the brain, which provide a novel therapeutic strategy for central nerve system disorders. And another is exosome application in cardiac diseases. So the exosome have been reported to act as an essential role in cardiac cell function and uh, used for an effective carrier for drug delivery into the target cardiac cells. So uh, and the stem cell derived exosome have also been indicated to play a cardioprotective role by activating the regenerative signals and participating in the cardiac repair. So, which suggests that this exosome-based therapy can be applied for the cardiac disease treatments.